I must admit, I'm not a roller coaster person. Oh wait, I forgot. Person. We've actually left. Welcome back to my Copenhagen vlogs. This is still day two of our trip, but because I had so much footage, I decided to split this day out into two separate vlogs. So if you haven't seen vlog two, go back and check that out first. But for now, welcome to vlog three and our trip to Tierley Gardens, the third oldest amusement park in the world. But before we head off to the rides, we first need to grab a quick bite to eat. We decided to head back to the market that we visited on our first day of the trip because there was just so much choice and so much more we wanted to go back and try. I mean, can you blame us? The food looks so good. Cauliflower. I have never seen one of these in my life. How cool. Have any of you seen any of this before? Let me know in the comments. So we briefly came back to the apartment for a little bit of a pit stop. It's been a busy day and we've been rushing around quite a lot and up and out early. So did come back, a couple of people napped. I've had a cup of tea because who am I without having a cup of tea? Like, needed tea to get through the day. Like, classic British. The first thing I did when I landed in Denmark was go to the supermarket and look for tea bags. Um, which was really hard to find, just classic British breakfast tea. Um, but did manage to find a pack in the end. Anyway, now we're all rested and refreshed. We are going to head out. It's also looking sunny, if you can't tell from the sunlight through this window that's making me look really pale because it was looking a bit grey and cloudy so we thought right we're in need of a pit stop dash inside for a bit because then we'll miss the rain it didn't actually come but it is getting out sunny now so I'm glad we kind of missed that because it was getting a bit windy and chilly and we're gonna finally head out to Tuli Amusement Park there we are, <laughs> got there um, yeah so just about to put my shoes on I'm so excited to see what it's like because I just don't know what to expect and apparently there are shows and things as well and a food hall so it will be really interesting to see all of that Oh, in 
been a little bit of a rainstorm and it chucked it down for about 20 minutes and we just kept walking through the rain hoping it would get lighter and it just didn't and then we thought great everyone's going to be sheltering so we can get to the front of the queues but they just started closing the rides because they got wet so yeah not a great start but it's fine yeah you look drenched ed's not dressed appropriate for the weather and his shoes are so true yeah at least we've got some of us got waterproofs Isha is very much not dressed for the weather <laughs> um, but it's fine because we're still having a good time and um, we are now in the queue for this super cool, super scary looking roller coaster. I must admit I'm not a roller coaster person but this holiday is about pushing myself out of my comfort zone and trying them so I'm going to try as many as I possibly can fit into however long we have. Now, this ride I was particularly terrified of going on. I don't really mind roller coasters. I don't like the steep incline, but I really enjoy when the roller coaster goes down and I throw my arms in the air and really enjoy that. But a ride like this that goes straight up and just drops is my biggest nightmare. You can see the fear on my face as I'm walking towards this ride. My friends knew I was terrified. I've never been on anything like this before. At this point, we grabbed hands and I said, we ride together, we die together. I really was petrified, but I'm so glad that I hyped myself up to do it and that my friends didn't let me back out or walk away from the queue. I kind of figured if all of these guys can do it, then I can do it too and we're in it together. And to be honest, I really, really enjoyed it. As terrified as I was when we got to the top, it was so worth doing. And I actually went back and wanted to queue again to try it again this time now that I was a little bit more over my fear so I could really enjoy the views from the top whereas I feel like I didn't really enjoy that this time but unfortunately the queue was too long and the ride was about to close but I'm so glad I discovered this about myself and who knows maybe in the future if we go to more amusement parks I'll be more up for rides like this. After a few more rides we decided to head to the Cheerly Food Hall. There was so much choice here as you can see again, though there wasn't a lot of traditional Danish food. It was very much filled with things like burgers, chips, sushi, fajitas and burritos and that sort of stuff. But it still was very very tasty and I'm very glad that we actually got all of the big sort of drop twisty turny upside down rides out of the way first otherwise I definitely would have been sick. We then very sensibly decided to head to a show or ballet after food because we wanted to allow ourselves time to let the food digest and it was definitely a nice little break after being on lots of scary, intense, fast-paced rides all day. After the show we then headed on to a children's ride 
And I'm not gonna lie, I think a couple of us had written this ride off thinking it would be a little bit boring, obviously for very young children, we didn't think we were its target audience, but I can tell you we really enjoyed this ride. It was just a nice leisurely pace with music playing in each of the individual carts, reading out children's stories from the famous Hans Christian Andersen. Some of the more famous stories that you guys might have heard of include The Little Mermaid, The Ugly Duckling, and my personal favorite, The Princess and the Pea. And as the carts moved around the course, there were lots of little animatronics placed around in different scenes telling different stories. So it was definitely a very calming and nostalgic experience, just what we needed after dinner. Next up, we headed to this mountain themed roller coaster that's famous for being one of the world's oldest wooden roller coasters that is still operating today. Now, at this point, we were definitely all roller coastered out and decided to head to play on some of the carnival games. This included things like poker style roulette tables or throwing a ball at a moving object to try and win a prize. But the one we decided to go for was this super fun horse racing game where you had to roll a ball along a table and try and get it in one of the holes to score points to make your horse travel faster. Now, if you're wondering who won, I can safely tell you Tim was in the lead by a long shot and it was certain that he was gonna win. And then all of a sudden, Will, from the back of the pack, managed to speed up, take the lead in the race and then win. None of us saw it coming, but it was so funny and just typical Will that he would manage to steal the win in the last minute. now it is literally midnight the amusement park was open until 11 p.m which is just insane i've never known an amusement park be open so late but it was so nice to see it all lit up at night and it's just so different compared to during the day and the queues were a lot shorter which meant we could get on rides a lot quicker so all in all it was just yeah it was a really really good experience getting to see it in the daylight, do it when it was busy, but then also get a more calm experience as well. Though I am very, very tired now, and obviously as it was getting later, it was getting colder, so I've managed to acquire not one, not two, but three layers of coats because I was a bit chilly and packed for a warmer summer in Denmark, and it has been quite breezy, and obviously you guys saw we got caught in a rainstorm at one point, so yeah, it's been a bit turbulent today, but I've had so much fun the amusement park was just insane now let me tell you i am normally scared of rides like i usually enjoy roller coasters but like on the down bit but going up terrifies me i hate it and then anything that sort of spins or goes up and drops is just not my type of thing boats that rock claws windmills anything no you will not catch me on it and today i tried every single ride and I loved it and I went and did some of them again that I thought I would fear. Some of them I thought I was going to really really hate and turned out to be my favourite. Like there was this boat that kind of went like, it kind of it was like a shuggy boat but then it, it kind of looped as well. Um, not upside down, though I did go on an upside down roller coaster called the Demon I think it was called. Um, I did one of those huge drop ones and I actually have footage of it that you will have seen just before I... I start chatting to you guys and I am so surprised that I did that and just yeah oh you can come in I'm just vlogging no it's fine pages just come in um but yeah really surprised myself challenged myself did it glad I did it glad I did it again and again as well but it's midnight as I said so we're gonna head to bed now because I am really tired and I was literally falling asleep on the sofa but woke up so I could close out this vlog <laughs>